I'm Erin Calipari. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Pharmacology. And my lab focuses on understanding how the brain encodes information and how this is dysregulated in drug addiction. Most of what we're doing is really basic science. We're giving animals information about their environment and saying, how do you use this information to make a decision? And so, you know, on a basic level, our question is, how does the brain work? How does the brain guide decision-making given environmental information? How do molecular targets within cells change the way animals make decisions? And so really what we're doing is basic science. And then we just take the next step to say, okay, well now that we've identified how this works, how is this dysregulated disease? And can we now collaborate with people at Vanderbilt to try to bring these kind of basic science findings into a translationally relevant environment? And so once I started studying addiction, I started to realize how important of a question this really was. Um, especially in the state of Tennessee, where you have more opiate prescriptions per person. You can then go in and say, okay, well, this is obviously a major public health concern. And so not only do I get to look at the basic mechanisms of how the brain works and how organisms make decisions, I can do this in the context of something that's actually really, really critical for public health. Vanderbilt is a, a really amazing institution. And so, you know, being a basic scientist that does addiction work, I was looking for a, a really good supportive community of people that would help me move you know, my science forward. And I'm part of the Vanderbilt Center for Addiction Research, and so Vanderbilt showed that it has a commitment to the kind of work that I am trying to do. There's a huge patient population here, and so having access to people with the actual psychiatric diseases that I study is really critical for me in formulating how we're going to approach this problem. Because you need to actually have contact with people who have these diseases to ask them, what is the problem? What, what are you struggling with? And then the last thing that Vanderbilt has is they have a commitment to actually pushing molecular targets through to clinical trials in a research setting, which is really not available anywhere else in the world. And I made an active decision to focus my effort on my trainees. And so what I have done since I started is, is trying to make sure that everybody in my lab has independent funding and has developed an idea that we can work on together that really kind of fosters their creativity and passion for science. And so, you know, the thing that gets me excited isn't just, you know, how well I'm doing, it's actually how well they're doing and seeing them develop into independent scientists with their own passions and trying to help them figure out how to maximize their potential so that they can go out into the world and make discoveries on their own. And so the great thing about being in this position is that you can make a difference yourself, but really what is the biggest thing for the community is training large groups of other people to go out and be good, rigorous scientists who are excited about solving these problems and give them the tools to do that.